entire island gone but where am i is this the old world something terrible must have happened maybe the others are around here somewhere Bones like this before. Ugh, gross. Wait, I see something lying there. What a strange thing. It must have belonged to one of those creatures. Some kind of dark tray with a reflective glass panel. It's old and dirty, and I can't even see my own reflection in it. I've never seen bones like this before. Thank you. I'll pass. A gushing stream of dirt and chopped up bones. It disappears into a deep pit below. A never-ending stream of bones! And they're... they're being chopped into tiny pieces! I'm sure even the wolves would find this barbaric! What is that? I can't tell from here. familiar. A pile of dirt and bricks. No amount of renovation will help here anymore. Pretty heavy. Ah, oh, you did cause me quite some headaches. I wonder why it's not spinning anymore. There it is, lying around all lonely. This door wasn't there when I wandered around here in my world. Where there should normally be a handle, this door has a narrow slot. This door wasn't there when I where there should. It's locked. Hello? Is. is someone there? This. this can't be! Or. Was it just a reflection? What's going on here? Get me out of here! Quick! Uh, please. Well, okay. If I only knew how. Look at the device at the front end of the gondola and see if these strange cells can be opened. It seems to be possible with this strange device here. Then press one of the buttons. Negative. The opening of the cells is initiated after reaching the main building. Done. You won't get far here without my help. First, tell me what's going on here. Where are we? Use your tiny little deer brain for once. Is this the old world? Great how you managed to figure that out on your own. The world from which ours was created. Then we should hurry up and see how we can get back. It's too late, dear. The scepter was destroyed. And so was the world we knew. From now on, we're stuck here for all eternity. No, this can't be. We do well to work together from now on, dear. What? We were discovered by the machines when we left the cave and wandered around. We were just as confused as you are right now. Your owl friend and my men were captured first and then transported down into that huge building in one of those gondolas. The machines seem to bring all the animals there. So my parents are probably there too. That's possible. But whatever they intend to do with us down there, it can't be good. 
Jarlina was captured by those creatures as well. I swear, if they harm so much as I... What is this strange world? Things seem to have changed much more drastically here than in the version we inhabited. Nothing here resembles how things were when our ancestors still roamed the area. Something akin to a massive ecological disaster must have taken place here. The alien species our ancestors once fled from are nowhere to be seen either. Just these machines that now reign in the ruins of this world. However, it might be a bit much to call it rain. These things act like a chaotic tribe of ants following primitive orders and illogical goals. From what I could make out, the only logical goal of theirs is to exterminate all living creatures. Why should I still trust you? Listen to me, please. The world we know is dead, lost forever. And now we have two choices. We can either give in to our cruel fate and let these monsters wipe us out, or we brace ourselves one last time and save what can still be saved. How are you going to do that? Have you ever been to the ruined city north of here? There's some kind of huge factory there. I stumbled upon that place when I was on the run from those machines, and I was inside. What I saw there cannot be compared to anything we know. Something mighty and abysmally evil lives beneath this factory, and it seems to control everything here. It was immediately clear to me that I had to eliminate this evil. I tried fighting it with one of my notorious black powder bombs, but it was no use. This evil creature seems invulnerable. I got caught by those machines, and now here I am, just waiting to be taken to this building in the valley where I will face my certain death. We can't get to the root of evil here, Finn. What do you suggest instead? We can only try to save ourselves. We need to reach that building in the valley and get every one of our kind out of there. After that, we need to leave this land and hide away from the cold, dead eyes of these machine creatures. And whether that's even possible in this world, I don't know. Uh, we probably don't have any better prospects than that. How do we get down there? There must be a way to move this gondola to the building. Maybe we can make that happen with the help of that device over there. What we'll find once we get down there, though, the thought alone seems almost like a suicide mission to me. I'll leave you to it. As you wish, but you won't get far. Say it, dear, but I have been admiring your cleverness for a while. Let's go. Transportation of the prisoners initiated. Further transportation of the prisoners initiated. Opening cells. I um, thank you. Buddy. Don't start celebrating just yet. We'll be disappearing into that building any second. And from the looks of it, it's going to get as dark as a bear's butt. Hold on tight!
There they all are. Every animal imaginable. Taken from our world. Trapped like helpless flies in a spider's web. So my parents might be here too, but what's happening to them? How should I know? They're all in a kind of paralysis. This artificial intelligence must have planned something for all these poor souls. We have to get them out of here. But how? I don't think you'll find something as easy as a lever to turn off here, dear. Oh, done. What is it? I believe this place is also controlled by the hideous creature below the factory, just like everything else in the area. We have to go back to the factory and destroy this thing somehow. Only then, I hope, will all the animals be freed from this horrifying place. But... How are you going to do that? Didn't you tell me your bombs had no effect? Yes. There must be another way. Ah! What is that? Get out! It's up to me. Is anyone still here? Hmm. This thing seems to be made of a different material than the glass bottles. I could take it. be the only one still in use here. Somebody's got to be in there. Or rather, something. What's lying around here? It cuts the numerous small pipes with its imposing pincer head. Yoo-hoo! Hi, I'm Finn. What's your name? Aha, you're being mysterious. What are you doing there? Isn't that a bit boring in the long run? Well, it seems to be keeping you occupied at least. Call it a day. Well, don't be surprised when a burnout knocks on the door. I'll let you get back to work. a little. I wonder if you can remove them. This will hopefully cause a bit of havoc inside that machine. Sounded like a couple of plates broke off inside. I've got a plate piece. Aw, the whole bike thing got wrecked though. This card was lying right next to the skeleton. The card has no details that might reveal its purpose. Weird. Thank you. 
Oh, great. This stuff is crumbling down everywhere. I should watch my head. There must have been a bed here once. It's half buried under this rubble. I cut off this part of the mattress. via the container. What's that? Judging from his position, it must have once belonged to that... that thing on the floor. It's emitting a strange glow. Hmm. Some kind of machine creature. It looks... Much more delicate than all the others I've met so far. You'd almost think this one was built for purposes other than to destroy and kill. heavy. Why do I suddenly have this strange intuition to insert this card here? This can't be! These things must have acted like keys around here. Incredibly stupid looking keys. Need energy. I've got something for you. Thank you. Ah, much better. Who are you? Fascinating. You must be a descendant of the lost race. But what The animals who once left this world. My creators often talked about when your kind would return from your self-created world. Why are you me? I'm sorry if this is all very confusing for you. I guess I owe you an explanation for this bizarre situation here. Just like you, I am the descendant of a lost kind. But in a, let's say, slightly different way. I was created by intelligent beings who, well, are sadly no longer with us. They lived in this world for a relatively short amount of time, and towards the end of their existence, they achieved an almost explosion-like technological progress. These creatures of which our ancient texts speak. I see. I was one of many artificial intelligences, each of them equipped a synthetic transformative body. But I guess I'm the only one left now. A transformative body? I figured you'd be more likely to help me if I took on your appearance. I have to say, our model of artificial intelligence was a pure work of art. We could transform our bodies into anything that was needed. We took on every conceivable job, were eager to learn, and helped our creators in word and deed. Those were fantastic times. Are you one of those machine creatures out there? Well, in a sense, let's say I'm a very, very old version of them. The fact that I have not yet been found and destroyed by the current versions is almost a miracle. What are you talking about? And what actually happened here? I'm more than confused, to be honest. 
the good years of my kind were soon numbered. On the one hand, unusual behavior started to manifest in some of my species. It slowly dawned upon my creators that my kind was starting to behave in ways that were not part of our original code, and this behavior was not always of the peaceful kind. On the other hand, decade after decade, we watched as our creators were confronted with new problems of various forms, but were unable to solve them. This eventually led to countless wars. In the end, little remained of the world we used to know. We machines were soon reprogrammed and used in these wars as well. Due to our invulnerability and ability to adapt to the environment, we were superior in every way. I was one of the few artificial intelligences who remained true to the peaceful spirit of our original creators. I'm having a hard time following your words. So you wiped out the original inhabitants of this world? The very inhabitants we animals fled from centuries ago? My creators themselves were responsible for their sad demise. We machines simply belonged to the ones who remained. As I told you before, there were machines that began to pursue their own goals. After our creators were no longer around to prevent this, they began forming a network of sorts. They began to act like a swarm intelligence. The factories that were once built by my creators soon got repurposed into manufacturing facilities, so the number of my kind could grow and grow. That went well for them, at least until the little resources that remained were used up, which is not hard to see if you take a look at the outside areas. Since then, they had begun using scrap metal and trash to keep building their mechanical shells. By now, my kind is only a rusty, clunky shadow of its former self, riddled with defects and malfunctions. But I'm sure you've already seen that for yourself. So that's what happened here. Horrible, isn't it? You animals should count yourselves lucky for disappearing into your parallel world early on. How did you get in there in the first place? Hmm, how do I break this down gently for you? You see, it wasn't really your world from the beginning. What do you mean? Look at the board there. Some kind of blueprint, I suppose. And that thing looks almost exactly like the magical scepter the owls once used to create our world. It is your so-called scepter, in the form of a blueprint that was created shortly before its development. What? It was created by the owls! I guess your historiography needs to be corrected a bit. To be precise, it is a creation of my kind. At a certain point, some artificial intelligences had exceeded the intellect of my creators. And from then on, they were able to construct devices that no ordinary living being would have ever been able to come up with. You can see one of those devices there. A scepter-shaped device that was capable of separating time and space. Exactly copying already existing matter in order to create something out of it that could be called a parallel world. This parallel world exists in the same place as the original world, but on a different plane of reality. A welcome solution to my creator's overpopulation problem at the time. They wanted to resettle larger parts of their population in artificially created parallel worlds. However, my creators could never estimate what would happen if the device was destroyed. Whether the created worlds would disappear forever, or whether they would even merge with ours here. But... the owls... I think they were the ones who saw this as the perfect opportunity. My creators probably should have done something about the rapidly progressing extinction of the animals first. No one knows exactly how your kind did it, but one day, the scepter was gone. Maybe it really was the owls who did it. The next thing that my creators noticed was a sudden disappearance of almost all animals in this world. I can't believe it! Of course, the development of a new, identical device was started immediately, but it would have taken close to two decades to complete again. No one could have guessed that other things would happen by then, those things I told you about earlier. The machines were only able to enter your world when the energy of the device was slowly depleted. Something akin to holes started appearing all over your world, through which the machines could enter from then on. They used a special technology that enabled this. 
but I no longer have any insight into how it works. What's happening to you? The energy source was already quite old. It is almost depleted. I guess my time is almost up. But... I will now have to leave. But I promise you, you'll hear of me. No, wait! He disappeared. What just happened here? What is that? The shape somewhat reminds me of a duck's head. Only, those wheels are a bit out of place. You can see what's behind the building from here. are manufactured here! Who's running all this? Ah, the entrance is now clear of those rays. The one hose here already looks a little loose and damaged. Spontaneous climbing session. I can also use that ladder over there. piece came off from the edge of the pool. It's made of some material that the acid can't dissolve. The ravages of time have been gnawing away at this place for quite a while. I can see the room below. It looks like an oversized water tank. Whenever liquid is normally stored in there, this large drain at the bottom must be able to move it outside pretty quickly. 
There appears to be a number on this door as well. It's actually quite legible. Now, if only I could get closer to see it better. The door says 1738. to me that's connected to everything here it must be in charge of all the weird stuff that's happening in this building it's covered by an enormously thick shell made of steel Ugh, pretty chilly in here panel can finally shine all clean and nicely. It even seems to reflect a bit. Uh, six, seven, one, six. There you go. must have opened somewhere. Ah, the pleasant sound of a choked up drain. Carefully. Whoa! I think the coast is clear again.
When? What? He's awake! Where am I? We did it, Finn! You saved us all! The machines were disabled. We were able to flee! But... but... He woke up! A loud hooray for our hero! <laughs> Give him a break for Hippo's sake. We heard that you destroyed that terrifying creature under the factory. Yes, exactly! I heard you blow it up! I'm sure that horrifying thing had no clue who it was dealing with. Please, a little more quiet. What? Who told you that? And... Where are we? Trees and birds? Am I dreaming? You're safe, Finn. Bolick and the others. They're all here, too. <clears throat> we found you when we escaped from that huge building. You were lying on a mattress, somewhere outside. As if someone had placed you there for us to find. Somebody must have taken care of all your injuries. How? It, it can't be. The, the, the factory! collapsed right on top of me. We can't explain that either. I think I know who did it. Who? Um, let's just say I've made a rather strange acquaintance earlier with one of these machines, but a slightly nicer one. Right near where we found you? Someone had also put a trail of little marks on the ground. They let us hear! Finn! Mom? I missed you so terribly. Oh, we missed you too, Finn. I've been looking all over for you guys. We were so worried about you. Well, not me. I knew my son would teach those machines who's boss. <laughs> Stop, Dad. I'm glad nothing bad happened to you. I'll admit, those machines weren't particularly, uh, gentle with us. But much worse things would have happened if you and your friends hadn't done anything. Oh man, I got so much to tell you guys. But where are we? Well, uh, it's hard to tell. I guess it's some kind of... Reservation with trees, rivers, fields, as far as the eye can see. That can't be. Then come with us. We'll show you. The king and his troops are all already exploring it. Careful, Finn. Are you able to walk? Uh, to be honest, I feel great. Mom, Dad, I I'll see you in a minute. Even though our own world is forever gone, here we may have been given a second chance. The words of my doppelganger. Now I remember. Friends, our world did not disappear forever. It's... it's right in front of us. The two worlds. They must have merged together after the Scepter got destroyed. So now, our home is somewhere out there. Wait a minute! Come here. Our species may never become true allies, and I can't simply forgive your kind for the century-long oppression of my people. So let me get something straight once and for all. We wolves will be there, dear. Maybe not as part of the rest of the animal community, but should a new danger threaten all our lives, we will be at your side. Well, this comes unexpected. You know, I understand you. All these stories about you wolves that our grandparents passed on to us, they've probably been driving an unbreakable wedge between our species for centuries. But who knows? Maybe one day, we'll be able to coexist peacefully. 
without having to divide our territory. I will do my best to uphold that, but the rest will depend on you. Put in a good word for me with your king and Jarlina. There are a few things I'd like to talk to you about on occasion. Things I don't know if I can ever make up for. We'll see, Father. It's all so... surreal. I still can't believe everything that's happened. Our whole world, our whole history, it was all very different from what we believed for centuries. Now we know the truth. And we should make the best of it. We have a lot to tell the others. And many things to take care of before things can get somewhat back to normal. But above all, we have a new history to write.